Welcome to Insta Legal. The question for today is whether irretrievable breakdown of marriage is a ground for divorce or not. This question has gained importance because most of the queries sought advice for by the litigants nowadays with regard to their matrimonial disputes is can I obtain a divorce from the court on the ground that the marriage has irretrievably broken down. Let us understand this question in one way that the parties are claiming cruelty. However, they are not able to prove cruelty, but there is so much of litigation between the parties that the marriage cannot sustain thereafter. So would that come under the irretrievable breakdown of marriage? What basically is this term? Let us understand. See this ground of irretrievable breakdown of marriage is not specifically mentioned as a ground for dissolution of marriage under any personal laws prevalent in India, but there are traces of this ground used as a ground for dissolving a marriage by the Honorable Supreme Court, where the circumstances so require in the interest of justice by invoking its inherent powers as provided under Article 142 of the Constitution of India. Now, what does it mean basically? Irretrievable breakdown of marriage means that the marriage between the parties have reached to the point where it is unworkable, emotionally dead, beyond salvage and is above the normal wear and tear of the marriage. Mostly the courts, when they see the kinds of the instances of cruelty which has been portrayed before the court during the contested divorce petition, the court gives them the term of wear and tear of marriage. But what if this normal wear and tear of marriage has continued for a very longer period of time in such cases, would this be not would this not come under the ground of cruelty? Would it if it is not a ground of cruelty, then can it be co covered under irretrievable breakdown of marriage? The main question here is if the parties have agreed that the ma the marriage should be dissolved and it is not falling under any of the grounds which is mentioned under the Hindu Marriage Act or Special Marriage Act or Muslim Dissolution Act or Parsi law, etc. Then in the mutual divorce cases where you have to wait for a period of at least six months in the first motion and six months in the second motion. So the court, the court was faced with a question whether in the mutual divorce petitions where the marriage has irretrievably broken down, can the parties be directed to wait mandatorily for the six months period? The court referred this question to a uh, constitution bench in the year 2016 in the case of Shilpa Shailesh versus Varun Srinivasan. The two grounds on which the reference was made was for exercising power under Article 142. What could be the broad parameters to dissolve the marriage without referring the parties to wait for the prescribed period under Section 13 Clause B of the Hindu Marriage Act? 13 clause B of Hindu Marriage Act gives the timeline of maximum 18 months for the parties to get their marriage dissolved. Second, second point of reference was whether the court should exercise such jurisdiction under Article 142 or it should be left to be determined on the facts of each case. As we understand till today, the constitution bench has not taken up this reference and has not come out with any appropriate answer. So the, the, the war between the mutual divorce timeline and the ground of irretrievable breakdown is still hanging in the air. When we come to the contested grounds, the divorce versus irretrievable breakdown, as we all know that the irretrievable breakdown is not a ground of divorce in any of the personal laws but the Honorable Supreme Court had in appropriate cases granted divorce only because it found this ground to be reasonable enough because the fact situation of that particular case was that the marriage has broken down beyond repairs. One of the cases is the Hitesh Bhatnagar case where the court held that the marriage can be dissolved only if it is impossible to save the marriage and the court is convinced beyond doubt 
that there is no chance of survival of marriage in any circumstances in certain other cases for example in navin kohli case the court took note of the fact that for more than 10 years the parties were not living together being embroiled in criminal as well as civil litigation and stated that the marriage has been wrecked beyond the hope of salvage public interest and interest of all concerned lies in the recognition of the fact and to declare defunct de jure what is already defunct de facto very recently the supreme court in siva sankaran versus santi minal case it has held after discussing the entire law on irretrievable breakdown of marriage the various law commission reports where the where the suggestions were made by the law commission to incorporate irretrievable breakdown of marriage as a ground for divorce under the hindu marriage act and the other personal laws yet till date that marriage amendment bill of 2013 has not been passed so this court the honorable supreme court in this case after finding that there have been continued allegations and multiple litigations by the wife in this in the entire 20 years of marriage the marriage which never took off from the very first day itself was a dead marriage and the supreme court while exercising its powers under article 142 of the constitution of india took this irretrievable breakdown of marriage as a ground to dissolve the marriage between the parties so basically what happens is this question of irretrievable breakdown of marriage will arise only where one of the parties is not ready to give divorce irrespective they have been living apart they have been going into this litigation for more than 20 years or some cases more than 15 years therefore said that these kind of instances where the parties accept that the, there is a marriage where there the, the marriage is there but they are not living together and the other party is not willing to acknowledge this fact that the marriage has totally broken down beyond repairs the court can exercise its powers under article 142 of the constitution to dissolve the marriage not only on the ground of irretrievable breakdown but by expending other reasons other circumstances of the case finding that their the marriage is beyond repair thank you very much